of games this year where yeah. you guys can get some get up and then catch some light. Well, no, normally we got down. Yeah. If you remember most of those games, um, you know, I'm I'm perplexed, disappointed, um, trying to say, hey, you know what? It's great. Your team fought back. Your team didn't quit. They could have quit in February. You know what the abuse they took, and rightfully so. I mean. Uh, like I said, I didn't hide behind any of that, and still don't. I still think we underachieved, and I think a lot of that falls on me. But um, strange year, you know. Another banked in in a critical time, you know. I mean, um, we cut it down to I think three, two, and you know we get a layup block. And, uh, that that kid Tremble made two big blocks. Um, we miss a layup. Um, they bank one in, you know. Um, it's just kind of the way the year went. But uh, I still feel the same way I felt talking to you in November, January, and March. That I think the team is good enough to make a run. And the reason I said it is because of all the close games and the way we played and, you know, the mistakes were there to make it so that somebody should have said, well, you you played good enough where you couldn't make a run, and, and I, 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 I don't know. But uh, weird year that you, you know, even today, a couple critical times, we missed some critical free throws early, you know, and there's no question we lost two or three games that way this year. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of a microcosm of the year, and yet, uh, boy, you play in a hostile environment, which, which didn't, Honestly, it didn't faze me, no insult to the Carolina people, but where we played, that was, that was nothing, but it wasn't our people. And uh, you get off to a start like we had, and what do we have, a 12-point lead? Or, with chances to make it 14 or 15 if we would have made some free throws. And then, you know, the, the, the best part of the whole thing was then going down nine, and they come out and hit a three. We're down 12. And within three and a half minutes, we cut it down to... To two, I think, when Jaden made the after the timeout, after the media timeout. So uh, they didn't quit for that. I'm greatly appreciative of them. They uh, it wasn't easy, but the last two weeks has been a lot of fun. Three weeks, I mean, it really has. I I just had a better appreciation, and I think some of those guys grew up and realized that you know what, the my bads, the every possession matters, is true. And uh, I got to do a better job of getting that through earlier, and I will. A lot of emotion in the locker room. Yeah. What was your message to the guys afterwards? You know that I was proud of them for not giving in, like a lot of teams have uh, in February. You know, when things were struggling a little bit. Um, and I just told them that uh, you know the underclassmen, if you could appreciate that every possession matters, and the veterans, you know, they kept shaking their heads and. And I said, you guys got to take that into life now and, and realize that it's the same there, you know. You don't get to just make mistakes and everything stays the same. And so, I don't know. I, I these last, this last week, man, I, I wish you could have been with us. It was, it was the most fun I've had in a couple of years. Um, and that's, that's a good thing. Your roster is going to change a lot. For, you know, some, for some core guys. I'm just wondering if you, obviously the game just ended, but you start to think about, as you look at the underclassmen, the development you need from different guys next year and sort of what, what's ahead? Yeah, I mean, I can't sit there and say I even give a care about what goes on uh, in the next couple of days, but um, I did address those guys in there and said, you know, my son said something pretty cool, you know, it said, it starts in the, the spring for you guys. And then he corrected himself and said, no, it starts today. And that's really true, because what today is is what you learn by the tearful reaction by so many of those seniors that maybe people question sometimes where they were. Um, it, was, uh, it was something I hope our underclassmen learn. But, uh, you know, those guys will get better. Um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. We'll, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have a good team, maybe a real good team. There's some things that I think you know, with some guys sitting out. We had a guy that, you know, I think Kohler will get better. I really do. Um, that, that was a hard pill because we just couldn't score in there enough. 
and uh, there's no question in my mind that book and and uh, you know we got a shooter in Gary and we've got a an athlete that's getting better with his shooting and Cohen and and then I got a, a guard that I think can run a team so I'm all good with it. Malik, Malik's obviously been through so much at this university just what has he meant to you personally just about the player he's been? And yeah you know I mean you got to love Malik I mean you know he's a phenomenal student and phenomenal kid and he's been through a lot at the university you know he's been through a lot outside the university you know and uh, I mean, that's just, that's the way it goes, you know. I, I, that's what worries me, as I've told you all, that these guys now have so much, plus the normal things that they have to go through. Now they have so much more added on. And I just got to figure out how to do a better job of, uh, of corralling that and, and fo focusing in and make them realize there is a pecking order. You know, there's a pecking order in life, too. What is the priorities? And where do you go? And... And quit thinking that you're going to be able to do everything at a certain level. And uh, that's going to be my battle cry in the spring. Is there anything specifically that made the last couple of weeks so enjoyable and fun for you? Yeah, I just think there was a different focus. I mean, A.J. was a different kid, if you ask me. And, uh, and Tyson was healthy in that. You know, he, he practiced hard. And uh, Jaden, you know, was really, he was the same. He was the one guy who was the same. He worked hard all, all year. And... Uh, but I think Marty realized, you know, we put him on a scout team. I think that helped him. Um, I don't know. I just, it was the time they spent together, you know. And uh, that's what tournaments do for you, though. Um, sometimes you get on the road, you know, like when you get on the road now with a regular game, you get in there at 8.30 at night, you have a meal, you have a, uh, you know, film session, you go the next day, you shoot around, you play, and you get home at 12, 1, 2, 3 in the morning, and that's it. Uh, tournament time gets you to spend a little more time and so I got to have more uh, I don't know I got to have more birthday parties or something at my house or something to keep this group a little bit more together how frustrating is it you know when you know that this team like we saw yeah. in the for opening yeah. few minutes how good this team could be but it just wasn't sustainable at all this season yeah you know and I don't know um, you know, I'm really going to have to take a look at it after the year because um, there were some things, you know, we played some tough opponents early. I mean, I mean look now, we played three number one seats, you know, or, or maybe maybe if Tennessee wins, who knows what they would have been. And um, I think I saw something last night where we played, I forgot how many teams that are in the tournament, but it was a lot, you know, and you kind of saw what George Mason did. Or, James Madison did last night, and uh, you know other teams had problems too. You know Illinois early, Wisconsin in the middle. Um, you know it's. I can only tell you that listen to whoever you want to listen to. It's not as easy as you think right now. And it's not as easy as you think, and yet we have to figure out. I have to figure out how I do a better job, and I really mean that. Um, they're just. You know, you lose a couple games early and, uh, you know, little things matter, you know, should you ever miss that many free throws. If you beat James Madison, you go out and beat Arizona, you know, I mean, and then when you're ranked high, the, you know, abuse that you take on social media is, is real and uh, some kids are a bit more ready to handle that than others. Um, you're used to pros, these aren't pros, no matter if we pay them, no matter if they get older. They're not, and uh, we have to. I just have to do a better job. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really disappointed with me that I didn't do a better job. And I'm not trying to take any heat off them. I just got to do a better job of that, and I'm gonna do a better job. Is your, is your first, first, I guess, duty coming out of this to sit down with those guys or sit down with yourself, maybe, to try and address some of those things? That you're on? Well, I won't be able to sit down by myself. I'm gonna have to find some people that I know that I. That I really respect in this profession because everybody's having the same problems. I mean, uh, and uh, no, I'll do that. Uh, that'll be good. I mean, it's not going to be a complete overhaul. It's just going to be tweaking some things, you know. And, and maybe, maybe as I told AJ, you know, if he led like he did the last couple of weeks throughout his career, and that's not putting it all on him, but uh, a team needs a leader. 
you know, and uh, and it's the coach's job to help develop that. So I got to do a better job of that too. So it sounds to me like far I worry about recruiting or which I'm going tomorrow or far I worry about all these other things. I got to figure out what I got to do a better job of, and that's there'll be nobody. You don't have a candle to hold to a heart. I'll be on myself compared to the other people. You, you, it won't even be close. Write what you want, say what you want, tweet what they want. Um, it won't be close. What do you miss, Bob? Steve, the player. Um, obviously, he's been around the program his whole life. Yeah. Uh, probably not no, I'm going to miss Steven. Um, you know, we walked down the hall together and he cried like a two year old. And I, I think there's times that I wonder if he even cared he was on the team, you know, only because I was like to practice every day and not even have a chance to go in. And uh, be in all the meetings and go through all the stuff and not getting paid for it. Um, but I'm going to miss him because uh, it was one of the joys I had that I got to spend time with uh, a guy that uh, I didn't spend enough time with younger. And that was one of my messages to the team, you know. Make sure you take care of the people that really matter the most to you. It's hard to do. But... Uh, do a better job of that too. You know, really, it's a lot more positive than it sounds like from coming out of my mouth right now. Because you hit the nail on the head. I do believe this team was good enough to make a good run. And I think we showed it at times. And when we didn't, um, it was some of the most bizarre things that could happen, you know, as I, I go back to all of them. I mean, from in that opening game, <laughs> one for 20, and to uh, Nebraska, you know, the three threes that shouldn't have gone in in a million years, and played pretty good. To Minnesota, missing, going seven for 17 and missing front ends of a one and one, you know, the, and I can overcome those things, and the players got to realize it, and I guess I got to realize it. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hurting for them, hurting for Steven, because I love those other guys, but I love him to death. And uh, I'm gonna um, try to help those guys get where they wanna get and do what they wanna do. And uh, I'm getting back to a deeper run in this tournament. And I'm gonna die trying. That's a... Hey, are you more motivated? A couple more guys. At this, I mean, we've seen you after a lot of seasons. You seem a little bit more motivated at this point. Uh, um, the coaching yeah, I, I don't like the way I've, I've given in to the fact that um, the world's changed, so um, I can blame it on that. The world has changed. Not for the better, if you ask this, Uper. But um, it is what it is, and I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure that I correct the things that I need to correct. So, motivated? Yeah, I'm, I, I am motivated. Excited? Yeah, I am excited. I'm not burned out. Um, I just, uh, I feel bad for the, I feel bad that I couldn't have got through to some of those guys earlier, because I really think they understand it better now. I really do. When like you look who? at those fourth year guys. Oh, all those guys. Them, obviously. Well, but I'm saying, like, they've got one more year. Like, when do you kind of sit down with them to process exactly. the three fourth year guys with AJ, Mahdi, and Davis? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I think Mahdi was set to stay and finish out. AJ, I think, was set to go from the beginning. You know, he's a year older, as we all know. And, and Davis, um, you know, he's trying to figure out what he wants to get into. Um, but yeah, I'll sit down with all those guys and we'll we'll talk and try to help them get where they want to get, for sure, for sure. But, uh, you know, you hope to teach guys something, but guys, guys teach you something too, you know, and I, I've learned a lot from AJ. I really have. And uh, I've learned a lot from Davis. Davis has been unbelievable. I love the kid. And Marty, it's harder to learn as much from him because I, he just doesn't open up. And then of all days, I had a watch part of his show today from, and uh, 
love Marty. You know, how do you not love him? I mean, what he's done, and uh, and you know, he made a couple nice offense. I'm sorry, offensive plays today. Um, there's no question that he's a better player than he played too. The only he's the one guy that I, I'm not sure what the reasons are. You know, I, I thought he had a a little bit of a disappointing year from where I thought he was headed, and. Uh, but I also know he had a couple of traumatic things that happened, and I just don't know because he doesn't explain it. So I got to do it. That's what I got to do a better job of. I got to figure out how to get in people's brains a little bit better than I am. Is it going to be a harder time to turn the page on this one when you feel it like is. you have a little meat on the bone? You know bottom? what? It is because even though we looked like we got killed, um, I just I, I, don't, I, I believe everything I've told you for really the whole year. I have not changed one bit, and I'm going to go home and say, to myself, because I'm not going to say it publicly because I'm not in the mood to get abused on that, and, and rightfully so. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, this one's going to sting a little longer because I, I think there were times you saw a very good basketball team. And, uh, but consistency is what we've always preached in this program, and we were consistently inconsistent, and I have to be held accountable for that. Like, See you, Paxton. You, you talked about uh, wanting to go on like another deep tournament run. Do you feel like you're kind of up against the clock with that a little bit? No. Uh -uh. You know, saving 74, 73, whatever he is. Um, you know what? You're old as you feel. If somebody wants me out, that's fine. I'll go somewhere else. I'm a coach. I haven't finished. Uh, I haven't finished what I want to accomplish. And. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that as long as, you know, are things more frustrating? 100%. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm really, I'm really, uh, I think they helped energize me the last couple of weeks. Because I, I, I went to bed saying, you dumb SOB, you were right. That stuff sounds so arrogant, so you're going to write it that way if you want, but it's the truth. And uh, I was right. And everything I said to him, I was right. But I didn't say it just from me. I said it from my former players. I said it from my assistant coaches. Just didn't do a good enough job of getting it through. And that's what I got to do a better job of. What sort of mark did Tyson leave on this program? You get, get him and yeah. changes into something yeah. quite different. You know what? you got to love him. I mean, he uh, that's the advantage of, you know, you can say he was in the transfer portal. He was, sort of. I don't even know if he went in it because it was too early before that. But... But he, um, you know, he was somewhere for three years. And I look at his first year, that statement, he said after the Duke game that this was the biggest throw of my life, and he thanked everybody. And um, Yeah, I really appreciate Tyson. I really do. He's, uh, he's been fun. And, uh, God, he's played better in these last couple of weeks. He was still hesitant, I think, on a couple of shots. Um, I'm not sure he was in as good a shape as he needed to be in the play offense and defense and I think a lot of that was the injury and once that came he couldn't get back in shape enough to play at the level he could play offensively and defensively and remember that's what we said he was he was I thought the next great two-way player from McGarry Harris but uh I don't know those will be the things I'll get to talk to him about now that it's over okay be honest with me you know tell me what and I'm actually looking forward to that too Well, sorry I couldn't get you guys to LA. I know that's. Well, I was really looking forward to going to LA.